Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Um, we are continuing the Eurovision analysis for 2020 this year, part 4, and um, we are back to our usually scheduled 8 songs. So um, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's start this um, episode with Moldova's entry, and the song is called Prison and it's sung by Natalia Gordienko. It feels like a ballad, but then it re it really explodes into something else. Um, like I think by the end it is properly something else and not just like a chorus from a ballad blown up to big proportions. It is powerful, more or less from start to finish. The video really captivated me. And also, fun fact about this song, it's in 6-8 instead of 4-4. Four, four. There are so many 4-4 four, four songs, so 6-8 feels really refreshing. Or maybe that's just a personal preference, but I like the 6-8. I don't know, there's something about it that just gives it more oomph. I think Moldova this year might be higher in my ranking than I think it is right now. But we'll see, I have time until that ranking. And now let's continue with Azerbaijan um, and the entry that um, I think um, would be my winner, I think. At least that's like my first impression of it. Because um, this entry is fun, it is um, at times uh, strange. This is a very contagious party song. What song am I even talking about? <laughs> One day I will learn to put the... The artist is called Effendi and the song is called Cleopatra. Yep, I'm... I'm... <laughs> I feel like that's like half... Half the fun of... Of the... Main chorus bit, just like... <laughs> this entry sort of took me by surprise because I really wasn't expecting... Like I know Azerbaijan can be good but... Uh, I just wasn't expecting this, and um, it's awesome. Let's continue with uh, Portugal, and they are bringing um, basically the complete opposite of what Azerbaijan is Britain bringing, um, which means they are bringing a very nice, um, mostly calm ballad um, called Medo de Sentir, and it's sung by Elisa. I sort of knew the song would be a song from me just by looking at the thumbnail. I don't I don't know how I was able to judge that but um yep I, I like the entry. It obviously it's way different than uh, Azerbaijan but um it hits me in a nice way nonetheless. Unfortunately for this song I don't really think it's gonna do that well. Like it won't get many votes but um it might get some hearts to melt. Just gonna throw that out there. Let's continue with uh, Malta, and they are sending Destiny and the song All of My Love. This uh, music video sort of starts really um, sort of documentary style and like sort of a spiritual thing. And you would think that um, from that the lyrics would be more about, um, I don't know, philosophy and a way to live, but um, nah, it's a catchy song about love. I actually kind of like the genre, but there's something about the song that doesn't really click with me. I don't, I don't understand, but that's the way music works sometimes, and it makes no sense. Um, but it's kind of like along the lines of uh, Malta from 2016. Like, it's still pretty good, but it's probably not a song that I'll come back to. And now let's continue with uh, Blackpink from Serbia, except they're not called Blackpink, they are called uh, Hurricane. And they bring us the song um, Hasta la Vista. There are parts of it that I really like, and then there are some, some parts that I don't really like. If you want a, an entry with girl power, then this is definitely the song for you. The song itself is is better on its own than with the music video, at least that's my brain. When the song starts, I was pretty sure it's a 
it was a special something, but like a part of me it's also like it's nothing special. But it is a catchy nothing special, so it might do well. <laughs> if you were trying to place this song before before knowing the country, I don't think you would have gotten Serbia at all. I don't think anyone's brain hears this song and goes to Serbia out of all places. Let's continue with possibly the most dramatic entry of this episode. Um, it comes from Albania. The song is called Fall From The Sky and it's sung by Arilena Ara. And um, she right off the bat has a really nice voice. Um, this song, like I said, is very dramatic. And I don't actually know why this song hits me in with the power that it does. I guess it's just a really great song, I can't explain it. Um, <laughs> nice job, Albania. Let's continue with Romania and the song Alcohol You by Roxen. Now this, if you've never heard of Maria Mina, then this is, this song is basically an encapsulation of what Maria Mina does as well. And it, it, this, this song is gorgeous, um, composition wise, arrangement wise, um, her voice is um, oh so special. I said Azerbaijan might be my winner. Um, well, let's say I'm gonna have troubles um, ranking these at the end when I need to. Oh dear. <laughs> let's uh, finish off this episode with Greece and potentially like the cutest music video. Just gonna throw that out there right off the get go. Um, the song is by Stefania and the, it's called Supergirl. This is a fun party with um, Greek home vibes. I like them a lot. Um, remind me of Greece. Uh, I wish I could go, but no. Suck. It's really contagious, this song. And the video is actually quite well made. I feel like it's very hard to make a video cute, but, it, but they... The production team of this video definitely knew what they were doing. Lots of fun. Um, I like this entry. If you guys like this entry um, or any of the other entries, I'm sure I'll see it in the comments down below. And if you like this video, then leave a like on it. Um, subscribe if you want to uh, follow my journey throughout your vision. The camera's over there, not over there. Uh, <laughs> subscribe if you want to follow my journey throughout your vision. Um, other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.